Welcome back to our devotional video for today. Uh, today we are closing the book of Luke, and in fact, we're going to be done with the Gospels. Uh, not done with the Gospels, but done reading through the Gospels for our Read Scripture Challenge. I don't know about you, but I have uh, I've enjoyed reading through all of the Gospels, but I've particularly enjoyed reading through Luke. I forgot how much unique things that Luke had to offer, you know, things that only Luke has in his gospel that the other gospels don't have. Uh, and, and here, as we close the book of Luke, chapter 24, we have that again. Uh, this is Jesus appearing to the disciples on the road to Emmaus. So this is, this is after uh, he has risen, uh, but people don't really know that he's alive yet. And, and some of his disciples are walking on the road, and they see, they see Jesus. He comes next to them, but they don't recognize him. And he's having conversation. He asks them uh, about, uh, you know, what what has been happening. Like, what are they talking about? What happened? You know, like playing, play, playing ignorant. Like, oh, somebody died recently. Tell me about him. Like that kind of thing. And they go on and they're talking. And then we get to uh, verse thirty and following of chapter twenty-four. When he was at the table with them. He took the bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened and they recognized him and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, did not our hearts burn within us while he talked to us on the road, while he opened our eyes to the scriptures? So just love this. They don't recognize Jesus until he uh, breaks bread with them, until he has uh, a meal with them until he, uh, you know, we our, our minds should be going to, to communion, but until he has this special meal with them. And that is when he makes himself known to them, if you would. They didn't know who he was before. And at this point, they recognize who he is. And the same is true for us, if you think about in communion, when we take and eat the, the bread and his body, the blood and the wine, we know Jesus, right? We know that with what is happening in the Lord's Supper, we know he has a good relationship with us because he is giving us his body and his blood for our forgiveness. And so he reveals himself to us. He, he reveals his intentions, if you would. You know, he, his intentions are to heal the relationship and to forgive our sins. And so uh, it's, it's really cool. And I, I love that part. Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked to us on the road? It's like they recognized who Jesus was, but they just couldn't put their fingers on it. And then Jesus gives them, uh, took the bread and blessed it and broke it to them. And it's like something clicked, like, Oh yeah, oh it's it's like the when the night before he was betrayed and it just it all connected. And then, as we get closer to the end, uh, Jesus goes to the other disciples and he says he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And so here we see how he connects all the scriptures to him. You know, throughout Jesus' ministry, he has been laying down these. Uh, these things, you know, the Son of Man must suffer and die and on the third day be raised again, or just different things, and different ways of connecting Scripture to himself. But they didn't get it. But here, Jesus is connecting it all to him. They're showing, he's showing them all this stuff in, in Scripture. It's about me. And so uh, it's really a, a great way to end the Gospel of Luke. Uh, we still have the Ascension as a part of the end of the Gospel of Luke. But uh, a great way to kind of close that as we uh, get ready to head into the book of Acts, which starts the same way that this book ends with the Ascension. Because remember, Luke wrote the book of Luke and the book of Acts. Uh, hope that you have enjoyed and uh, been fed going through these Gospels. Uh, come back, continue to read with us as we go into Acts and then the Pauline epistles, and finish out the New Testament strong. Uh, God's blessings on the rest of your day.